Oh, another day, another Chelsea kit. Welcome back, guys, to the Lampard Legacy Chelsea Career Mode on FIFA 20 Part 3 now. And if you haven't seen the last two, please go ahead and watch them. I highly advise you do so because there was a huge success on the channel and, yes, on field as well because we won a couple of games, won a cup as well. If you don't know that, you're going to have to watch it. And straight into today's episode, we are going to take you through the calendar so it gives you guys who haven't seen the last ones time to go and see who we've signed as we have Wolves first away at the Molyneux followed up by our first Champions League group stage game if you haven't seen episode one we randomized it against Leipzig followed up by Liverpool at the bridge in the league and then I think we're going to sim this West Ham game and sim Brighton as well to end it off. So yeah, they're going to be the simmed ones because it's only the first round of the Carabao Cup. And we have three other important games. And if you haven't seen all these, the top scorers, we have Pulisic, who is third at the moment, with Mane kind of running away with it already. And we are fourth in the league with 10 points, so not doing too badly to start off with. I thought it would be a lot harder than it has been, especially the teams we've played. But we've coped very well as we have this international break. We don't have an international team to manage, so we've got this big break. As Loftus Cheek is loaned out, and I think it's to Sheffield United, if I'm not wrong. He is. He's going for one year. Him and Mason Mount have gone. As for the youth players as well, I'm going to release Charlie Harris. He doesn't look good. John Johnson, I'll give the benefit of the doubt. But Ben Reid, 62 rated already. And we only have Caballero and Kepper, the club already, coming is out on loan. So, Ben Reid, welcome to the Chelsea first team already. Scottish as well, so hopefully he settles in with... Billy Gilmore, so I'm going to go through the rest of the players and then we'll get into the team sheet for the first game against Leipzig, I think it is. And apologies, it is against Wolves as we go into this first game away at the Molyneux and there's only a couple, I think one change as Loftus-Cheek actually is getting loaned out in the January transfer window, so it's a bit bad because he's going to be sat in the reserves for a long time. But the team sheet we have for today is Kepa Arisa Balaga in the net with Aspie back with the captain's armband as we rest Zuma for the midweek game against Leipzig, the only rest. And Tomori comes in with Upamecano, an ex-Leipzig player, of course, uh, in the other centre-back role with Alonso at the side of him. And Golo Kante, Kovacic, and a first Premier League start for Kai Havertz in the midfield with Ziyech, uh, Pulisic and Timo Werner, another Leipzig man up front. So yeah, hopefully we can get this win against Wolves and it'll put us in good stead for the Champions League when that begins. And yeah, they're only one point behind us, so it will be difficult. And we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Oh, and there he is. There he is, his new signing. There's, there's no volume, no atmosphere at Molyneux to start off with. And finally, it's getting up a bit. Kai Havertz, a realistic signing, if I say so myself, because Chelsea have been linked with him heavily in real life, as we're going to get to see this Wolves squad right now. Honestly, I always love the fireworks in real life when they go on at the Molyneux, especially in like midweek games in the FA Cup. I can remember they played Man United, it was amazing, as Ru Patricio is in between the sticks, the same keeper as always, Matt Doherty, Connor Cody, Willie Bolli, Laguiara. And Johnny at the bat with uh, Ruben Neves and Moutinho, Adama Traore, Jimenez and Jota up front. And yeah, five at the back. I know they play that in real life, but I didn't expect it on FIFA for some reason. Signed Nathaniel Klein, who's on the bench for some reason as well. With us getting Kepa, Aspilicueta, you know the team, you know the team. Let's get into it. And I don't get this about Molyneux. The away fans go to uh, the whole side of the field. They don't have one uh, stand behind the net. Look at it. All the Chelsea banners. You can see at the top of your screen, as they've actually got a chance here, ball whipped in, Kepa safe hands. Which you could kind of say is unrealistic, because he doesn't really have the safest hands at the moment in real life, with a poor percentage, uh, safe percentage that is, in the Premier League. Last time I checked, as Aspilicueta has it out wide, the other Spaniard in our team, Kovacic in the middle, gives it to Hakim Ziyech. There's only one from the front three yet to score, and his shot is blocked. Good chance for us early on there, as we've got to keep chasing this ball down, Kai Havertz gets it. King Kai in the middle as ZX making the good run. Why is Werner over here with him? I don't want him there. It's a good move from Hakim Ziyech to get it in the middle. Here's Timo Werner. Took his, uh, took the path all the way back as he gives it to Pulisic. Tries to get round. I think it's Jean Moutinho doing the defending. N'Golo Kante now in the middle. Gives it to Kai Havertz. I've hit these with Barkley before, as you know. And I didn't really want to risk it, but I probably should have. Lost the ball there. And Adama Traore, the speed merchant, gets past Alonso, the other Spaniard. As we need to come across with Upamecano. Can Diop make a good tackle? No, he's been sent. And Jimenez puts Wolverhampton 1-0 up. Good finish. It's that link up, just like in real life. And yeah, poor defending from Diop Upamecano, our new man. And we're 1-0 down. 
no experience for us here. Haven't been behind in the game, I don't think, in the Prem. Uh, apart from Manchester United on the opening day, that is, but not from the start, as we did take a lead in that one as well. Good finish from Raul Jimenez. Gets it out of his feet to put it to the side of Kepper. We've got a rebuild to do. Aspilicueta just needs to keep strong here at the back as Johnny has the ball. Gives it out and plays a couple of passes to Diego Jota who gets the ball back. Really good play from Wolves here. As I've got a chance to put it into Raul Jimenez. Just blocked and Alonso to clear. Yeah, not been the best of days for us so far. As they've got another chance. Look, Adama Traore. It was a foul by Christian Pulisic. But play goes on. Oh, you can't let him get there in front of you, Alonso. Matt Doherty has been taken out from him as well. And it's a yellow card. That's poor from Marcus Alonso. I expect a better... Give him the benefit of the doubt because a lot of players, I think, on FIFA do go ahead and sell him when doing a Chelsea career. And maybe that was the right move to do, but I, I just wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I've liked him in the past and he's let me down. Could say the same for this guy on the ball as well at the moment, Aspilicueta. He's really not impressed me so far. And N'Golo Kante, that is a really straight pass. Alonso's got to be careful as well, already on a yellow. Pass it round his man though, and can we get a chance off here? Keep Adama under wraps, and when we get the ball, the referee blows. 1-0 down to Wolves at half-time. They are a decent team, but I still think we should be beating them. And we've got to improve in the second half. And apologies if my camera just went off. Really couldn't help it. It just decides to turn off for some reason. As we need to get back into this game. Can't take my focus off this result. And Raul Jimenez with it. Pass it back to Ruben Neves. Adama Traore. Traore's got past Alonso again. We can't let him find Jimenez. As he's pulled it back to the edge of the box. Jean Moutinho hits it. Tamori with the clearance. Ruben Neves as well. Walking his way through. Adama with a chance to put it across the box. Big save. Kepa. And it's a huge mess at the back from us. Honestly, shocking defending. As N'Golo Kante, he hasn't been a good passer in this game. But Timo Werner runs straight into Willy Bolly. Can he grasp us back into this game? No. He's being tackled by him as well. Timo Werner with the ball again. He's going to pass it to his fellow German in Kai Havertz. What can he do? Kai Havertz still going. Oh, I tried to pass it to him, but he was already offside. Hakim Ziyech. Come on. Come on. As Timo Werner gets the ball. Good turn, Timo. Oh, and Kai Havertz, I think he might just be offside. He's put it in the back of the net for a debut goal, but of course it won't count. I saw it before. It ran too quick. And the first substitution from us here, as I'm going to take Hakim Ziyech off. I know. I know he's played decent. He's grown into the game, but Willian, he scored for us before, and I trust him for a goal. Adama Traore with it on the wing. Alonso. Where are you going, mate? As he's crossed it in, Kepa catches it again. That has just been their way of playing this game. And it was our poor defending that led to them getting an actual chance. Because the way they've played hasn't really worked. As Timo Werner with a chance to pass it through. Just come on, Havertz. Use a bit of pace. Pogba scoring from Man United, as the commentator tells me. Alan McAnally. It's a cross in, though, from Podence. I think it is. And it's a good save. Because that bounced close to us now. I think we just need to try and get a last counter-attack off here. And maybe we get another chance. But Adama Traore has it into Morgan Gibbs-White. And that's a big tackle from Fakayo Tamori. Just doesn't look like it's our day, does it? Going to get beaten here at the Molyneux. Unless, unless maybe Willian can get a last chance here. Jorginho and Ross Barkley sent on for, I think... Uh, I can't remember. Mateo Kovacic and Kai Havertz as Barkley gets it. Big chance for us here, but no, we're being tackled. And there we go. The final whistle's been blown. A 1-0 defeat to Wolverhampton Wanderers away from home. Not the best. And you can tell it wasn't the best when our uh, main player, Kai Havertz, got a 6.5. And that was our highest in the team. Yes, really bad. As we get the Champions League graphics here, we know what we're going into next. Need to bounce back with the result here. As I think Zuma's complaining that I dropped him. Mate, I was saving you for this big game. Uh, as he's a bit worried of speculation. I'll give you a chance. You're going to play. And here are the players that's going to play alongside Kurt Zuma. We've got Kepa in the net with Reese James getting his first start. And his first start comes in the Champions League. So, yeah, it's a bit of an ask with Zuma, Upamecano, and Aspilicueta moves on to left back because I think, uh, I think Alonso had a really poor game. With N'Golo Kante, Havertz, just because he knows the league. I don't think he was the best last time out. But, yeah, I think because he knows Leipzig from playing them before, he can give us an advantage. With Jorginho as well because Kovacic is tired. With Ziyech, Werner, and Pulisic, of course. The trio up front still giving all the players the benefit of the doubt, especially Ziyech, who's yet to score or, I think, get an assist. And here we have it. I haven't seen one of these on the channel so far. A Champions League game, that is. And, yes, 
I've put a team on that goes straight into it as my other series, apart from Ibar. So it's a bit of a cheat going straight into the Champions League that way, but I'm pumped. Away from home as well. Didn't realise that. I think the team's still good enough to get a result. Of course, Reese James is a risk at the bat, but still I have faith in him because Alonso was terrible and it can't get worse than him. And I actually can't wait to see who the replacements for uh, Upamecano and Werner are. I think I saw Kim Bempe then. That really does look like him running back, doesn't it? So it might be him who's replaced Dio Upamecano. But we're going to get to see here with Golaski in the net. Urban Kimbempe it is with Konate and Sabitzer. Going to wait for it to change. Angelino on the bench. That's a good one. Halstenberg, Adams, Campbell, Sabitzer, Lamaima with Lilic and Gignac. Two really decent old strikers, I think, there. Up front for Leipzig. We're expecting... Uh, what's his name? I can't remember. Is it Paulson? Something like that. The uh, Danish striker. Yeah, we're expecting him. So, yes, that's caught me off guard. But hopefully we can still get the win. Always going to be difficult after the uh, defeat in the game before this as well. But we've got to play well and try and get it. As Ziyech steals it straight off uh, the defender. Don't know who that was. And he's going to run all the way. Pass it into Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz around to Jorginho. And I thought we're getting a bright start. Jorginho with the ball in the middle. Good pass through that to Kai Havertz, who just needs to keep, I don't know who that is, Lamaima in the middle, off the ball, as we've been robbed, and now they have a chance, Pierre Gignac, pass it back to Kevin Campbell, that's the blonde haired one, as he gives it to Lima. Lima's going to try and have to get past us, oh, and he's got straight past Kai Havertz, as Campbell has it in the middle, trying, trying times at the moment, here at Chelsea, as they've got a chance to take the lead, and it's a big save from the leg of Kepper, and he spilt it, but he's got it back, jeez, Kepper. Gone off it a bit there as, ooh, Kepper, what are you playing at this game? There's two mistakes in the space of three minutes. As Aspilicueta, can you get us on the right path here? As he's going to run down the wing. The old man's been left with space, pass it into Pulisic. Pulisic rides the challenge, he's still got the ball. I think it's Kai Havertz in the middle, waiting for it. We're going to cross it back, and it's missed him. Really big chance. Reese James, though, can he cross the ball? He's got Werner queuing up, but he can't get it into the box. Kante now with the ball back to Jorginho. Werner is snapped, and nothing's given. Timo with the ball again. Timo Werner, he can release Jorginho here. Jorginho with a chance to put his 1-0 up, and his shot's deflected. That was a huge chance as well. We were just running through on net, but he's a slow man who the ball fell to, and he missed. Jorginho gets the ball back, though, in the midfield, and he's supposed to be a good passer. Can't even find Christian Pulisic. As Aspilicueta has to come across. Good one-two around him, though, with Tyler Adams, the other American, who was supposed to be marking Pulisic, getting the ball. They're going back now. Kevin Campbell gets it, and we've made the interception. Aspilicueta actually playing better at left-back, as we need to get passing here. Good ball into the middle with Kai Havertz. Timo Werner has Pulisic to release. Tyler Adams can't keep up. Here's Christian Pul Oh, no, it's Aspilicueta. What's he doing that fast? As Kai Havertz has it. Kai Havertz, can he cut this back into the middle? Aspilicueta playing really well. Aspilicueta! Puts it wide. Cesar with a huge chance to give us the lead. A couple of minutes before half time now. And we don't want to concede here. Back heel into Ilicic, who gives it to Gignac. Good play that. And he's blasted it off the crossbar and onto the line. That is very unlucky from Stefan Ilicic. And we are lucky to go into the break unscathed. Nil nil. Whew. And breathe, Max, after that. Or oh, Lampard, should I say? I'm Lampard. As we do go into the break, no changes to be made. But hopefully a change to the scoreline. Kai Havertz with the ball. It's just us passing out to the wings that hasn't been good enough. And I think if we master that, we'll stand a chance in this episode. Because, of course, we didn't have the first best game against Wolves as well. As we've been robbed there. Kevin Campbell in the middle. Round on Golo Kante. No trouble for Jorginho though. As he gets the ball into Hakim Ziyech. We've got a couple of players rushing forward. Good ball from Hakim Ziyech as well. To Kai Havertz. Cuts it back. Looking for Werner through the gap. And it doesn't go. Although Hakim Ziyech does have the ball here. Back heels it a bit far. Further than I want. But Kai Havertz with the ball in the middle. Goes for the close post. And it's a good, good save from Golaski. It's looking at the... Uh, goal line technology from the shot before us. We get ahead of there. Reese James at the back post. Oh, and he can't control it. A huge chance for the 19-year-old to open his account on his debut. And a chance for Tyler Adams to come. Don't. Don't. We've just had the chance. And it's gone straight in the middle. Huge, huge rush out there from Kepper. 
Good instincts from him as Pulisic has a chance to punish into Timo Werner. Kai Havertz playing it across the middle all the way from the left to the right. And can we put that through Hakim? Come on! Just not good enough from Hakim Ziyech at the moment. He's doing everything fancy with his feet, getting past players in one-on-one -on -one scenarios. But his passing and like final shot is just not to the standards we need if we're going to get in the Champions League next season. And of course... Compete in this year's championship, uh, championship, Champions League, as he's got a chance here. That's a good pass. Good, as Kante has a chance, puts it across. Christian Pulisic off the post. I don't believe this game. Going to make some changes as well. Giroud, Willian, and I think I'm going to have to put Ross Barkley on for Kai Havertz, just because he's not tired. Big risks, you might think, but I'm going to try it. And go low Kante as well in the middle, just before the subs go through. Could we get a goal? Here's Timo Werner. He's coming off for Giroud. And Timo Werner hits the post. Open net. And he's got the goal that I wanted him to get against his old team. Super Timo Werner puts us in the lead in the Champions League. And of course, more importantly, away from home. Yes, away goals don't matter in the group stages. But it's really good taking it to the bridge. We'll have confidence we can beat them if this result goes through. Golachki did well to die across of course it hit the post he didn't save it but he did well the old man to shift his body but then he could not get back up for the rebound and he goes off straight after his goal bye bye Timo as Giroud gets his chance here to impress I've made a couple of risky changes now and we've already got the goal and Pierre Gignac with the ball. It's not over. Come on, boys. We've got to concentrate as that's a good ball in. And Kepper with a huge stop there. He was risky in the first half with some of his handling. But that is huge for us as Barkley does what the other midfielders didn't do and gets it clean out to Willian, who's through. One on one. Willian crosses it to Olivier Giroud. Can't get there. And oh, it's missed from Jorginho as well. I hope goal difference doesn't come back to bite us because I know we're going to get the three points in the group stages, but still, we could have had another goal there as the clock goes down. We've got to be careful we don't drop the two points as well as they're passing it really well in this game. They're unlucky not to score when it hit the bar and came out, but we get the 1-0 lead. A good response from the 1-0 loss to Wolves and going into Liverpool, who's going to be a huge challenge, but we've already beaten them. It's, it's a good confidence booster. And we sit sixth in the league. Arsenal won, Wolves won, I think Manchester United as well. As we've got to try and get a result against top of the league, Liverpool. <laughs> and Alonso saying he wants to be played. I'll consider it because Rhys James, it was decent, but throwing him in against Leipzig and Liverpool in a row would be a big risk. And I've done it. Three changes in this squad because... I know it's a bad mentality, but I feel like we're going to lose. So I've took, I think, two players out of the team that I want to rest. With Kepa in the net. Aspilicueta, Zuma, Upamecano and Alonso at the back with Uncala, Ungolo Kante, Jorginho and Kovacic. Tried to mix the names together there. Instead of Kai Havertz with Willian, who's actually played decent, giving Ziyech a rest. Werner and Pulisic as the trio. I think it's the first time we've actually broken them three up, apart from pre-season. So hopefully we can do well against Liverpool at the bridge. And here we go. Kovacic warming up. Who's that Jordan Henderson? Hopefully... We stand a chance here, but it's going to be difficult to beat the title winners. And we're going to get a look at the Liverpool team as it shows you ours. I'd say it's uh, okay, but I don't know if we could beat this. Let's have a look. With Alisson in the net, 4-3-3 with Trent, Joe Gomez, Van Dijk and Klosterman. Henderson, Fabinho and Wijnaldum. It looks like the team we played in the Super Cup with Salah, Roberto Firmino and Mane. Beating it before, of course, with this full-strength team. And yeah, I'm I'm actually not confident with how they're doing in the Prem, but we'll see. We could actually be off to a good start here. Willian with a good cut inside, gives it to Timo, and oh, maybe I shouldn't have passed it then. Maybe I should have turned with Timo and tried to shoot. But now Mane, Mane is through. We've got to try and put a good tackle in, and oh, he's missed it, has he? Or has Kepa saved it? He has. Kepa with a good save as Salah's going to whip it in. Can we try and keep this out? Van Dijk's up there, I think, somewhere lurking. He is, as they've tried to chip Kepa when he's out of the net, and that has failed. And Kovacic now, with a good ball through to Willian. Come on, we've got Pulisic at the other side. Werner in the middle. Willian with a chance here. Crosses it to Christian Pulisic. And what a claw out from Alisson. We've actually got a chance here. I'm a bit more optimistic now with that. And Christian Pulisic with a good header. And it just would not go in. Corner ball, though. Can we get something from this? Kovacic! Making the move towards the front post, and Alisson catches it. Chance for Liverpool as well here. Sadio Mane passes it to Bobby Firmino. 
And he's put it over the bar. I think that took a deflection. It did. Short corner, maybe. Salah giving it to Trent. Trent should be taking the corner, shouldn't he? As Timo Werner's going to try and get there. He's completely flattened Wijnaldum. Play goes on, though, as Salah gets it out wide. Slid in to try and stop the cross. He actually hasn't done it. He's got good footwork, and we've managed to tackle him. Upa Meccano in the middle. Gives it to N'Golo Kante. Here's Kovacic with a chance down the middle. Timo Werner is on the end of this. Of course, he missed his first chance against Leipzig. And Alisson makes the stop again. Saudi Omane with the ball again. Gives it to Wijnaldum. They've got a chance to pass it in. Bobby Firmino cuts back. He's got Saudi Omane up. Oh, they even scored. I, I was just sat waiting for the penalty to be given. But I think it's Jordan Henderson who blasts it in just before the half-time mark as he runs over to Klopp. <laughs> That's a bit stupid. We're 1-0 down. Look at that. I I, I can't believe what Diopo Bergano did. How are they going to win the ball? It was miles gone as Jordan Henderson still drilled it past us all. And now we have work to do. Losing to the champions 1-0. And that's actually going to take us down the league as well. Has got a chance for another one as well as Liverpool. As Wijnaldum back kills it to Klosterman, but the half-time whistle goes. I think we're 1-0 down to him in the Super Cup. I'm not sure, so I'm going to play on that and hopefully we can come back ourselves. As we go into the second half, 1-0 down, but we've got to have faith. Jorginho, can we start this half off brightly? Pulisic with the ball. Oh, why did... I think it's Alonso. He stopped his move. He's still not playing well. As Kante gives it to Jorginho. Here's Timo Werner. Can he get it round to Jorginho? He's just not quick enough. Where's Mason Mount when you need him? He's at Inter. That's where. As, of course, he scored the winning goal against Liverpool. As Mane has a chance here. He's got Bobby Firmino to the side of him. Zuma's come across, made the tackle. We need to still get there. And, oh, it tricked him up. Advantage given, I think, as we can't get rid of the ball. And that is sloppy, sloppy defending as the ex-Chelsea man, N'Golo Kante, doubles Liverpool's advantage. Yeah, it's poor. It's really poor from us. Look at that. Not just poor, really. Uh, so, yeah, I think Bobby Firmino, that tap away from Zuma, gave him the chance. Diop Umamakano, not tight enough to his man. And it's Salah's sixth goal already. He's on a mad one. And Salah has the ball again. We haven't made any subs this game, which is on a purpose because... I'm going to rotate the team heavily against West Ham anyway, as we've got Timo Werner on the ball. He had a chance to put us 1-0 up earlier as well, as he has the ball again. Play that fruit to Jorginho, and his first touch is awful. Here's Jorginho. Jorginho passes it to the side of him to Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic can't get it away from Fabinho, and that's just been the story of the game. Not good enough again. I think the players aren't good enough as well. Not the way we're playing. We've played fine. We've had chances, but it's just the finishing... The defending especially, which isn't good enough. And look at that. We've got two men coming across. And we still can't get rid of it. It's still gone into our box. They should have had a penalty as well if they hadn't have scored. We've been shoved off the ball, our own defender. And Kepa's keeping this scoreline down. However, Pulisic on the attack. He's got William to switch it to. William to... Oh, Christian, man. Christian. What is that? It's going to be a throw in, though. Not a goal kick as James Milner comes onto the field. No subs from us. And yes, he's going to hoof this up maybe. No, they're just going to pass it out. But the final whistle should be blown. And there it is. A 2-0 loss at home to Liverpool. Our second loss. And our second loss in the league today, of course. And it's, 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 just, it's just bad. It's just bad. And of course, I'm going to sim this game and the next one right now as well. We're not going to play any more games this episode. Usually, I will play the entertaining ones on screen. And I thought them first three were the most entertaining. So, say if we have Liverpool first... And then two other games like Brighton and Watford that we don't want to play. I will simulate them as we have to change this team up, like I've said. And this is the team that I've picked. Some of the tired players are going to get fitter because the game isn't the next day. With Kepa in the net, James comes back in with Tamari, the homegrown players, Upa Meccano and Matson. Because I'm not playing Alonso and Asp is too tired. With N'Golo Kante keeping his position, hopefully keeping them out. With Barclay and Loftus-Cheek either side of him, William comes in, or it was already in the team, I think, with Ben Rama coming in, that's the one, and Tammy Abraham, so it's a fully different trio at the front, Tammy Abraham getting his first start, I think, of the season as well, and I've really neglected him, and he's an homegrown player that I want to improve when I started this series, I had it in mind that he was going to be the main man I build the team around, until Werner came in, Van Ginkel wants his chance, I'm not going to give you it, I'm really not, because I want you to be sold, Sonny Boy, in the future, as this game goes ahead against West Ham, I'm going out the Carabao Cup. <sighs> I, re I really thought we'd win that. I really thought we'd win that easily. 
It was an easily good enough team, and that's four defeats already. Oh dear, as we've got to change this team for Brighton. It's funny how bad we are at the moment. It really is. And here's the team that we're going to play. Kepa in the net with Aspilicueta, Zuma, Tamori staying in in front of Upa Meccano, who hasn't actually impressed and is more tired anyway. With Alonso coming back in, Kante, Jorginho and Havertz in the midfield with our trio back, Ziyech, Werner and Pulisic. Because we need to get wins in this league. We really do. We can't go free defeats in a row in the Premier League and I'm simming it against Brighton. We should not be losing that as I've just seen we have Atletico to start next episode. That's going to be hard. Please do it for us. Please not a draw, a win and we get the 1-0 win. Jorginho gets us a goal and then misses a penalty. But the worst thing is Kepa's injured and we only have Willy Caballero 74 rated as backup. Oh, it's only two weeks. I, I honestly thought that was going to be like four months, so that's a good job. He's going to miss the Atletico trip though, which is not good. And I'm going to show you the fixtures for next episode. Of we have we have Real Mad Atletico Madrid, uh, Southampton, Newcastle, Molde, and Burnley. So I might sim Southampton and Burnley play Newcastle, Molde, and Atletico, or I might sim Molde play Saints or Burnley. I don't know yet. I don't know. It hasn't come to that. Maybe. Leave a suggestion down below what you want me to do. But unfortunately, guys, this is the end of the episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed, but I really haven't enjoyed playing it because we've lost a couple of games. But the next one will be out every other day, so not tomorrow, but the day after. Like, comment, share, most importantly, subscribe. 300 by the end of the year. You know how it is. And have a good day. In a bit, peace.